Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you in the suite. I'm taking it. I know it's working, Birch, but we could sure use another one. The technology behind those coils is so sophisticated, I'm amazed I was able to get it working. Just wait your turn. And I thought we were friends. Why do you think I spend so much time singing your praises to Mr. Rentier? Jesus, Martin! Cut me some slack, for goodness sake. I'm under enough pressure as it is. Relax. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm blowing smoke up his ass. Technology, we could have freed the Great Plains of Tick Trouble in no time. That gauntlet of his? That's what I call research and development. I tell you, there was big money in the manor. Not like this backwater. You think young Rentier would invest in Calico? He can't invest in nothing. He's flat busted. The gold comes from DC. Harrow's the one who calls the shots here. Rentier's back, but he gave that Felicity a scare. This is just one battle in an ongoing war with an immortal enemy. That immortal enemy lost their sanctuary. <laughs> uh, I assume you heard about that fire in the sawmill. The glamour they had protecting was annihilated by Rentier's gauntlet. To be honest, I'm skeptical. You really think that's what Felicity was hiding in McCallum's? I wouldn't bet on it, but I wouldn't bet against it either. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. It's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Help! Dr. Blackwell! Somebody! <laughs> Mr. Jesse! <laughs> Help! I heard shouts! 
sir. Uh, what's going on in there? Stand down, Davis. <laughs> Step aside. Uh, even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest... Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please! We're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything? doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. This way. Christ. Wish I had a map of this place. Sounds like trouble.
More money. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. here except those freaks. This whole place smells like death. Jesus, who the hell would want to set up camp here?
clear. Blood everywhere in one big ass spider web. Finders keepers. Ash and blood. Money. Twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. Their teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. Eight-legged freak was hunting him down. Guess this is that giant arachnid's lair. He's not wrapped up like a mummy in a web. Guess he got away.
All right, let's stick to the facts. Bloom researched vampiric legends, a, a lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, like some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give it my best shot. used to be thick as thieves. Oh, didn't expect that in this damn jungle. 
Look healthy. Better run quick before it sinks. Make it. without a rope.
don't bring this thing down on top of me. some religion. Doesn't look inviting, but let's say I trust you, Edgar.
take that. I'm starting to doubt your navigational abilities. Scorched.
Edgar? Just behind you!
for the hand. But I had it under control. You can tell. I found the plan. The locals call it La Orquia de la Vida or something foreign like that. We get this back to Calico, squeeze it out, and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around. I'm sorry I got you into this. Yeah. Getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit. Edgar, you can't keep doing this forever. When those ticks attacked the manor, what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway, now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, then you get all emotional on me. Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. <laughs>